Deliciously with Ara. Today we're gonna make bibimbap. So subscribe and like! So bibimbap is actually one of the most popular Korean menu that we all know before it became trendy yung mga iba ibang Korean dishes because bibimbap is actually one of the food that was served to the kings before dahil sa isang bowl nandun na lahat we had to have different colors all these kind of seasonal vegetables also sa isang bowl nandun na lahat ng mga nutrients it's actually very easy to make as long as you follow my tips and recipes on how to make it so now magsisisimula tayo gumawa ng ating bibimbap for bibimbap, you all you need is actually any kinds of assorted seasonal vegetables na meron kayo. And it's actually good to have different contrasting colors. Mostly, it's maganda kung meron kayo mga carrots, I have a radish, and meron din ako here zucchini. But of course, you can always like alter whatever vegetables you have. And I also have your um, a lettuce, kasi sa mga summer seasons, when we have an access to lettuce, we can actually use some fresh lettuce and also spinach. However, sa mga traditional mga bibimbap before or in different regions, um, they normally have all the vegetables na blanched or parang stir fry nila. But dahil nandito tayo sa Philippines where it's summer and it's hot, we just want to add a little bit of a summer break by adding our fresh lettuce. So on our bowl of bibimbap, you always have to have some touch of protein. Ngayon gagamit tayo ng ground beef. But of course, you can replace this with ground pork or kung ayun yun ang karne, it's also okay to omit. But now we're gonna use the ground beef. Iba marinate muna natin siya. So I have here one cup of um, pork ground beef. So it's around 200 grams. Let's add a touch of our garlic. This is around one tablespoon of minced garlic. But of course, pwede kayo mag-add or mag-adjust ng amount of garlic, some pepper, and our salt. And we need toyo, around 1 tablespoon of soy sauce. And we have your sugar. You can use any kinds of sugar you have, around 1 tablespoon. So the ratio of your toyo and your sugar is 1 on 1. So lahat ng ating mga ingredients are soy sauce, sugar, garlic, and um, sesame oil. Lahat siyang ration is one to one. Haluin na natin ang ating beef para magmarinate. So habang na marinate ang ating beef, we're gonna get our radish and prepare all our vegetables. First for our vegetables, we're gonna start off is our radish. So kailangan natin siya ipipil and hiwain natin siya ng maninipis na parang very thinly strips of our all the kinds of vegetables na gagamitin natin today. After na cut natin yung ating radish, kailangan mauna yung radish because it really needs time. Lagay natin siya sa isang bowl and let's get a tablespoon of our rock salt. Tapos haluin na natin siya. And set it aside for around 10 to 15 minutes habang pinipreprepare natin lahat ng ating mga ingredients is para may iwan lang siya sa side. Kaya kailangan when we prepare our pop, our meat and our radish goes first. And now the rest, kailangan natin talaga siya hiwain again on long strip, parang long thin strips. So I'm gonna set aside lahat ng ating mga hinihiwa. Now for my carrots, it's always good to have different colors para magumanda yung ating presentation. Always good to have our carrots kasi ito yung bright up ng ating dish. And I had some spinach here kasi for Koreans, we love to have spinach. But sa Philippines, we can actually omit having spinach or any kinds of meron kay mga green leafy vegetables is good to replace. Dahil for the pop, it's always, it was the way for people to really appreciate all the different kinds of the seasonal vegetables na meron kayo. But if you have a spinach, get tanggalin natin ang ating parang roots. And we're just gonna half this. Siguro mga one, mga three, two to three inches in length. And then mama we blanch natin siya. And for summer times, we can always have some fresh um, vegetables like lettuce. Although traditionally, hindi naman kinagamit talaga ang uncooked vegetables. But of course, it's not. It's always good to have some crispness on our summer bibimbap. So I'm gonna add around three to four leaves of my lettuce. Dahil malilit, I'm just gonna use around four to five. And then hiwain din natin siya ng parang pa strips. 
And for our bowl of bean pop, it's always good to have some touch of mushrooms on it. Of course, kung ayon na ng mushrooms, hindi kailangan talaga gamitin. I'm gonna use a shiitake mushroom because it is the most commonly used. Of course, if it can have different kinds of mushrooms, you can. Ginamit ko talaga is um dried shiitake mushrooms, pero you can always change whatever you have sa inyong mga pantries. For in this case, nagsinok ko siya around 20 minutes, and then once the lumang bot, I'm just gonna squeeze it and just stir fry natin siya. So, diretso na sa aking pan ang ating mushrooms. I'm gonna turn it on. So, this is around 100 grams of my mushrooms or around 1 half cup. mag add ako ng 1 tablespoon. The key to bibimpap is huwag tayo gumamit. Mas maganda na gumamit tayo ng parang non-stick pan because we don't want to have too much grease sa ating mga ingredients. And kailangan parang tiyaga because we need to have all our ingredients isa-isa ang kanilang pagluto because we want to retain the color, the flavor of each ingredients. So, on my mushrooms, mag add ako ng konting oil lang. So, mga one half tea tablespoon. And I have here also one half tablespoon of minced garlic. And just a slight touch of some salt to taste. And when I actually cook my mushrooms, ang sinisun ko lang talaga is salt and not soy sauce because once I add the soy sauce, magu black and konti ng ating mushrooms. But of course, for our pibim pap, although we mix natin siya mamaya because pibim pap basically is just parang halo halo rice. Before it's presented, before natin kainin, I just want to really retain the natural color of my mushrooms. That's why it's always important na sigur salt na lang ang gamit natin pang flavor or seasoning ng ating mga ingredients. And as I can see, na medyo lumambot na yung ating mga mushrooms. I'm just gonna uh, turn off my fire, add a drizzle of my sesame oil before tatanggalin ko. So, secret is around one half tablespoon of my sesame oil. Just a little bit touch lang, para may aroma siya. And then set it aside on my bowl. And then on the same pot, magiinit na tayo ng mga ibang ingredients. First, we're gonna start off is with our carrots. And just enough oil para lang maluto, but not greasy. And season it with salt. Actually, carrots, once na medyo init natin siya, it becomes sweeter. And of course, kasi ayoko mag-add na masyadong maraming oil, kasi when we make pibimpa, pangit talaga if our ingredients are parang nakasoak na siya sa oil. You can add, add a little bit of water para mas mag-help magluto. So I'm just gonna add around 3 to 4 tablespoons of water. Para it will help us na magluto yung ating mga harder vegetables with lessening the usage of oil. So medyo pag natuyo na yung water, it's already time na medyo okay na yung ating carrots. As you can see, very malambot na. I'm gonna lower the fire, very mahina, or patayin ko na yung fire, and then i-drizzle ko lang konti konti sesame oil, around one half tablespoon. Just to coat our carrots with a little bit of aroma of the sesame. So one half table, teaspoon, ko coat ko lang siya. And then, I'm gonna put it here para palamigin. And on the same pot, I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil, konti lang, mga one half to one tablespoon, and I'm gonna add my zucchini. And season it with salt. Actually, hindi kailangan talaga maalat. I'm just gonna add a little bit of my salt para lang mag boost up your natural flavors ng ating vegetables. And then another inside tip, para lang hindi masyado gagamit ng oil while I cook my vegetables, I'm gonna add a drizzle of my, parang just water, around 4 tablespoons. So now for the zucchini, ayun natin talaga siya na ma-overcook kasi magiging mushy siya. So once it's already medyo malambot na, I'm gonna turn off my fire again and still coat it with 1 half to 1 tablespoon of my sesame oil para lang may aroma siya ng konti. Now for our spinach, kailangan natin siya i-blanch anything of the green leafy vegetables. So sa boiling water, mag add ako na a little bit of salt para mag-bring out yung color niya. Actually, if wala kayong spinach, you can actually replace it with mga dahon ng kangkong. And I've added here rock salt, mag add ako ng ating spinach. Mabilis lang. 
And then once my green leafy vegetables, like my spinach, is medyo dark green na, is strain natin siya ng agad. So my strain na, na blanch ka na spinach, is a season natin siya with some garlic. I'm gonna have here one half tablespoon, one half teaspoon of my minced garlic. And some salt to taste. And just to bring out the best flavors of it, I'm gonna add just like around two to three pinches of my sugar. Parang konti lang, just a slight touch. And one half teaspoon of my patis. Very konti lang talaga. And sesame oil, it drizzle natin siya here. Must try recipe! So now you can see I have here my spread of my vegetables na hinanda. I've had here lettuce, mushrooms, my carrot, zucchini, and also my spinach. Also you can add here, which I don't have right now, is toge. You can also do the same process na ginawa ko sa spinach. Ibablanch na mabilis lang and then mix it with garlic. So a little bit of a sprinkle of sugar, salt to taste, and then sesame oil. And same din ang seasoning niya. And then just set it aside. So you can actually also use that or any kinds of seasonal vegetables that you have. But that we make sure that it will retain the natural flavors of our vegetables by lessening the amount of oil and just using a little bit of salt para lang it boost out the flavors nila. And also for the radish na kanina na hinanda natin no beginning, which we have already soaked with some salt. As you can see, may siya parang parang matamlay ng ating 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 um, radish. What we're gonna do is squeeze out natin yung mga mga moisture contents niya. And I squeeze out that siya ng maike para matanggal yung parang moisture ng ating radish. Now on my radish, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of my chili powder, sugar, and but and some sesame oil. So you just have to remember the ratio. Lahat is one on one. So one tablespoon of my chili powder, one tablespoon of my sugar. For this one, best to use is really the white sugar and one tablespoon of my sesame oil. And then haluin lang natin siya ng haluin. And try to coat up at hintay natin matunay lahat ng ating chili powder para mag-coat siya talaga fully yung ating radish with our sesame oil and our chili powder. And now back to our pot. Tulutoy natin yung ating marinated beef kanina, the ground beef. I'm not gonna add any more oil kasi yung beef mismo, the natural oil fill will come out. And when we add bibimbap later on, hindi siya masaya sa taste when everything is very greasy. So we want to really minimize the amount of oil. And actually the bibimbap, the flavor of nya is parang coated with sesame oil. And because sesame oil is already sort of greasy on its own, hindi tayo mag add ng extra cooking oil when we cook our beef. And when you cook your beef, try to be masipag or else parang bubuo siya because of the protein contents of it. Magiging parang isang bulk ng ating um, balls ng, ses ng ground beef mamaya. So kailangan talaga gigisain na gigisain. It's super masarap. So now all our ingredients for our pimping pop is ready. We're gonna make the special sauce which will make this really, really different and stand out. Kasi ito yung magiging sauce base niya. Para once hinalo hara natin ang pimping pop, we can fully enjoy all the taste with a kick of spice on it. So we need kochujang, our chili paste. The ratio of this is actually one. And we need some sugar. We need, uh, actually, I'm having here some um, rice syrup. But if you have any other syrups, like you can actually replace it with honey or agave syrup or corn syrup, it's okay. Or if you don't have any kinds of syrup, you can actually replace it with sugar as well. But so just remember the ratio of one to one. So I'm gonna use two tablespoons of my chili paste. And two of my corn syrup or rice syrup or any kinds of sugar you have or even honey. Just remember the ratio of one to one. And I'm gonna add one tablespoon of my sesame oil. And very generous amount of my sesame seeds. And then halu na natin siya. Must try recipe! 
So now all my ingredients are ready for my arrangement of my bibimbap. I'm gonna show you two ways how to make it. One on a regular bowl and another one which is also popular, the tolso bibimbap. So po hindi gagamit tayo ng parang stone pot. But hindi, na, hindi naman kasi madali makahanap ng stone pot. We're gonna replace it using a tukpeki like this that we can normally find it in Korean groceries or supermarkets or even restaurants and pretend it to be the tolso bibimbap. So here on a, in a plate that you can get like a white bowl, get a cup of rice, and then we'll assemble. So I have your beautiful colors of my vegetables, assorted vegetables, and my mushroom and my meat. I'm gonna top this off with one fried egg. Stay tuned! So now I'm gonna teach you also to do the tulsa bibimbap but using the tukpegi. So we're gonna put this on the fire. And then now our tukpegi, kailangan natin siya i-coat with sesame oil. So just generous amount of sesame oil and then i-coat lang natin siya sa sides para hindi dumikit. And then we're gonna add our rice on the center. Mahinaan ko lang yung fire. And then we're gonna add all our assorted vegetables. It's super wasara. So while I was arranging my vegetables on my tukpegi, I took the fire because it was getting too hot. Now after it's been all assembled, actually po yun naman gayon na ngayon na kayo mag-open ng fire. And I put a small hole on the gitna. And when you can hear like the parang sizzling sound, you can actually add just one egg yolk. And then we're gonna top it off with some sesame seed. And eventually, the egg yolk maluluto siya sa init ng ating tukpegi. So don't worry about eating the raw egg. Or you can actually replace it with fried egg also. And because I can hear a very beautiful sound na parang nag roast I'm gonna turn off my fire na. Must try recipe! Tada! Here is my pibimpap, one on the regular bowl and one on toasted style. So I hope you enjoy my recipe. And by the way, you can actually serve the sauce that we made, the special kochujang on the side, just so that whoever eats it can adjust the spiciness of it accordingly. Now, I hope you enjoy cooking these delicious meals at your comfort of your own host. I hope you enjoyed my recipe. See you next time. Bye! It's super wasara. So we're gonna add in our special sauce ginawa. And for mixing bibimbap, it's actually used to, good to use our chopsticks. Because when we use our spoon, para magumosh siya. When we use our chopsticks, it will help even out the coating of it. So add the generous amount of our spicy sauce kanina, the kuchujang sauce. And we'll just mix everything. Now this is the best part, yung parang medyo nagiging totong na rice on our tulsa bibimbap. It's very hot but very very good. You're gonna cry in the joy of flavor, the goodness of it. I hope you enjoy eating but be careful.